Hi, my name is Roland LaPlante, and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer here at Affilius. With over 600 dot brands applied for in the uh, 2012 round that ICANN hosted, and hundreds uh, already launched, uh, 2017 seems to me to be poised to be the year of dot brand. Now, dot brands are top level domains that uh, use the brand name to the right of the dot instead of a dot com or a dot net or some other uh, term. Um, so, you may have seen on the internet sites like uh, mabank.bnpparabas or home.cern. Um, these, are, these are now brand addresses that work on the internet just like the names that you're accustomed to seeing, except they have a brand name at the end of the address. And many large companies across a wide range of industries applied for these and either have launched them already or will be launching them soon. These include companies like Google, uh, Amazon, Citibank, Visa, uh, McDonald's, Sony, HBO, Alibaba, Hermes, and many, many others, brands that you know um, that are changing the way they do business on the internet now. Now, while most of the dot brand applicants in 2012 really didn't know what they were going to do with it at the time because they didn't have time enough to think much about it, um, almost all of them now are considering what to do uh, and putting plans together to execute to get the benefits that they expect um, to get out of their dot brand investment. So coming into 2017, I'd, I think I'd break the, cat, the uh, usage of dot brands down into three basic categories. Uh, the first category are companies that are still planning uh, on what they're going to do with their dot, uh, dot brand or even ignoring uh, it for the short term. Um, these are brands that just have a mandatory NIC site up, which is what ICANN requires, um, but they're not really doing anything of, uh, meaningful at the dot brand locations. And these are companies like uh, dot .UPS, dot .Ferrari, uh, and dot .Delta. Then there's another category of brands that are in, that are in what I call the trial phase. Uh, and these are brands that are testing it out, uh, doing things like releasing reports or hosting special programs or launching products uh, at their dot brand. It's a very responsible, conservative approach, uh, and it's building momentum. And these are, this, uh, this category of, of uh, brands includes uh, companies like PwC, uh, Cipriani, uh, and ICBC Bank. And then there's a third category uh, of brands, and these are brands that, are, that I would call all in. These are folks who now have dozens, maybe hundreds of sites up in their dot brand, and they're beginning to make the move from their home site, be it a country code or be it a com, uh, to their own dot brand address. These are companies like BNP Paribas Bank, uh, the big French bank, CERN, uh, and Abbott, uh, and even Monash, the, uh, the great Australian university. Uh, and there's many others that are doing this. They've already achieved some notable Alexa rankings for some of their second level domains, uh, and they're uh, slowly but surely migrating over to the dot brand in all of their, uh, their activities. And of course, a few dot brand applicants uh, withdrew their applications for various reasons, but most everybody's sticking with the game, and a lot of brands are now actually ro rolling out on the internet and getting good use out of it. So given this expanding use, it might make sense to review just for a second what the benefits are that um, dot brand applicants uh, and dot brand owners uh, can expect to get. And the first one is complete control over the, over the space. This means control over every single entity that owns a site uh, in that space. So uh, BNP Paribas, for example, um, can, it will only allow sites that are authorized by BNP Paribas. Nobody else can get into the top level domain because BNP Paribas can control 100% of who is allowed to have a site there. Um, the second piece is what they can do with that, the content that's on every site. So if BNP Paribas grants 300 sites and two of them have content that's against company policy or for whatever reason is objectionable to BNP Paribas, BNP Paribas can call Affilius, because we're doing their, their technical work, tell us to take it down, uh, and we instantaneously take it off the internet. Uh, there's that much control when you own the entire top-level domain. So control is, a, is an important aspect, and this, and this will enable uh, the dot brand owners to give their customers a place on the internet that is safe and secure so that 
uh, internet visitors, their customers, uh, can have more confidence in the brand uh, in the online world, as much confidence in the online world as they do in the uh, real world. So control is a really important benefit. The second piece is security. Um, everybody's concerned about security on the internet today, and there's, a, there's just a, a blizzard of uh, criminal activity going on. But with your own dot brand, because you're controlling who has one and you're controlling what they can do on it, um, you can create a safe, secure environment uh, for your customers to come and visit you and do business with you. Uh, and, that's, and that's an important benefit uh, of, that every dot brand will have. And the third benefit uh, has to do with future proofing. Uh, many dot brand uh, owners uh, and folks who are contemplating getting a dot brand are manufacturing companies and they're linking up all of their products, be it light bulbs or security cameras or automobiles or parts for airplanes or whatever, are all being linked to be able to uh, communicate back with the mothership. Uh, things can be upgraded, there's a host of benefits to this, but it requires an enormous amount of address space. And if you have a dot brand, you essentially own an unlimited amount of address space that's dedicated entirely to you and is completely in your control and therefore very secure. Um, so if, you're, uh, if you see the Internet of Things as important to the future of your company, uh, a dot brand is really one of the things that helps that to be secure and safe. Uh, and of course, the last thing is branding. Um, having your brand at the end of an address, uh, on every email address that anyone in your company sends out to anybody, uh, anytime you show your company uh, address on the Internet, it's, it's the brand and not a random term like net or com. Uh, there's tremendous branding benefits um, that, will, that will help uh, secure your brand on the Internet uh, and help it be even more memorable than it is today. So given these benefits, uh, many companies who didn't apply in the last round are going to want their own dot brand. So when can they apply? Um, I don't think 2017 uh, is going to be uh, a year when, when another round can open. Uh, ICANN, which is the entity that manages the route, um, has a lot of other priorities this year, a lot of important things they're doing, uh, and they're not going to get to, a, to the work that's required to open another round. Um, so I don't expect that this will happen before 2018, but in the meantime, if you don't have a dot brand and you are concerned about this and interested in this, and every CMO at every major company should be worried about this, um, look at the dot brand folks in your own industry and see what they're doing with it. See if they're getting any kind of an advantage out of it that you could turn to your own advantage when you get your own dot brand. Watch what they're doing uh, and learn from their mistakes so that, so that in the next round, um, when you apply for your own dot brand, you'll already have a plan in place um, and you can, you'll be able to launch much more quickly uh, and take advantage of the uh, dot brand benefits much more quickly than, than the pioneers are doing uh, now. So. Uh, even though we won't have a, uh, another round of new top-level domains in 2017, I really believe 2017 is going to be the year of dot brand. Uh, these things are gaining momentum. Uh, more and more customers will be aware of, uh, of the availability of these names and, will tr will, and the trust that brands have built in the offline world will begin to be extended uh, with confidence into the online world in a way that's never been done before. Um, and that, all by itself, will make 2017 the year of dot .brand. To hear more about dot .brand, uh, please visit us at www.affilius.info. Thank you.